So let's start with the very basic uh, data types. So a data type defines a kind of a value a variable can hold. So let's understand this. So data types. So as I said before, a kind of a variable can hold a value. For example, we have int, float, string. We have more uh, we have more data types like lists, tuples, dictionaries. But in this session, we will going to understand only the basics. Basics like int, float, and string. So what exactly is int? Int is the integer. Integer like uh, uh, positive numbers, negative numbers, including zero as well. And if I talk about float, float are the decimals like 0 0.5 or minus 0 0.5. And if I talk about the string, so a string is a collection of characters. But make sure it should be enclosed with quotes, either single or double. For example, so here we can understand with the example. So what exactly is int? Like for example, 35. Int is basically integers. 35 or minus 45. This is also my integer. So this is basically int. If I talk about float, so float are the decimals, as I said before. So decimals like 2.5 or minus 1.5. And if I talk about string, so string is, as I said before, it is a collection of characters, but not exactly characters. Like we can't say uh, Ram. We can't say Ram is a string. It is a string. But for example, if I have written 1, 2, 3 under quotes, this is also my string. So the exact definition of a string is anything which comes under quotes, either single or double. That will be your string. So here I have written one, two, three under quotes. So this will be my string. Also, I can write in this way also, like double in double quotes, RAM. This is also my uh, one of the example of uh, string. So this is also my string. This is also my string. So these are the basic data types in Python. In this session, we will going to understand only these three data types. But in uh, next sessions, we will going to understand in depth uh, like list, dictionaries, tuples, sets, frozen sets. And uh, after data types, we will be understanding the variables. So my question, what exactly is variable? So you can discuss in the comment section what exactly is variable. So here I'm going to write variable. So variable is something which can stores a value. Variable is something which can stores a value. For example, uh, if I talk about uh, a equals to 10. So 10 is a value and that is being stored into a. So a will becomes my variable. For example, a equals to 10. So you can see this is a value and I have stored this value into this a. So this a will becomes my variable. As per the definition, variable is something which can store the value. So it is holding one value, which is 10. So this will becomes my variable. Another example, if I talk about, let's say, b. Can we say this is my variable? No. Why? Because it is not holding any particular value. But in this case, now b is holding one value which is 20 so this will b will becomes my variable so guys these are the example of variables now how we can declare a variable i can take any any variable with any name let's say i can take my variable as ram equals to 10 i can take uh, uh, ravi equals to 43 so i can take my variable with any name uh, so let's understand how to declare a variable. So in order to declare a variable, we have to follow three rules. The first rule is uh, my variable should not be any of the keyword. And the second rule is my variable should start with underscore or characters. Characters means that could be small letter, that could be capital letters. And my third rule is my variable should not have any symbol except the underscore. So let's understand this. So, as I said before, uh, the keyword. 
सो वट एग्जैक्टली इज की वर्ड की वर्ड अदर वर्ड एट कन बी ए स्पेशल मीनिंग टू द लैंग्वेज कंपायलर फॉर एग्जाम्पल आई हैव रिटर्न एंट ए सॉरी नॉट ए एंट इक्वल्स टू टेन सो वट आई हैव टेकन हेयर माई वेरिएबल इज एंट एंट इक्वल्स टू टेन आई कैन नॉट टेक दिस एज माई वेरिएबल सिंस दिस इज माई डेटा टाइप सो दिस इज ऑलरेडी अ रिजर्व वर्ड सो दिस इज ऑलरेडी रिजर्व वर्ड इन पाइथन वी कैन नॉट टेक दिस एज माई वेरिएबल सो दिस इज इन करेक्ट सेकेंड रूल सेकेंड रूल इज माई वेरिएबल शुड स्टार्स विद आइदर अंडर स्कोर स्मॉल लेटर्स और कैपिटल लेटर्स दिस इज माई सेकेंड रूल एंड थर्ड रूल थर्ड रूल इज माई वेरिएबल शुड नॉट हैव एनी सिंबल माई वेरिएबल शुड नॉट हैव एनी सिंबल एक्सेप्ट दी अंडर स्कोर मीन्स माई वेरिएबल कैन हैव ओनली वन सिंबल विच इज अंडर स्कोर वी कैन नॉट टेक प्लस माइनस डिवाइड मल्टीप्लीकेशन डॉलर वी कैन नॉट टेक एनी सिंबल जस्ट एक्सेप्ट दी अंडर स्कोर सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल जस्ट आई एम गोना टेक सम ऑफ द एग्जाम्पल्स फॉर डिक्लेयरिंग अ वेरिएबल वैल equals to 10 so this is my correct variable since it's not my reserve keyword and it is starting with either means it, it, it is starting with the small letters so again we are satisfying the second rule third rule it should not have any symbol you can see it is not having any symbol neither underscore so it is my correct variable next example let's say val underscore val equals to 10 again this is also my correct variable since it is not my reserve word and it is starting with any of these it is starting with the underscore so again it is fine next is it should not have any symbol so we have one symbol but it should not have any symbol except the underscore so again it is also fine next example underscore equals to 10 this is also my correct variable why it is not a reserve keyword second it should starts with either underscore or small letters or capital letters so it is starting with this it should not have any symbol except the underscore so it is only having the underscore so this is also my correct variable declaration so this is also the correct declaration next is val underscore 1 2 3 equals to 10 so in this we can see this is not a keyword so we are satisfying the first condition second it should starts with either underscore or small letters or capital letters so again it is satisfying this condition also next it should not have any symbol you can see clearly here it is having one symbol which uh, which is uh, at the rate so it should not have any symbol except the underscore so that is why this is incorrect so this is how we can declare a variable so we need to understand these three conditions it should not be my any of the keyword it should starts with either underscore or small letters or capital letters and the third rule is uh, it should not contain any symbol except the underscore so these are the rules in order to declare a variable so let's understand operators so what exactly is operator so operator are the symbols which perform operations on the values so let's understand this so we have uh, multiple Uh, operators in python like uh, addition subtraction multiplication division then we have floor division we have power symbol which is exponential then we have modulus which, uh, which is basically for the remainder then we have equals to which is basically my assignment operator then we have comparison operator which is double equals to so i believe everyone is aware of these four operators because these are the very basic plus minus divide multiplication now just after this just answer 15 divided by 4 so the resultant would come up as 3.75 now let's understand this floor division so we call it floor division so this is almost equivalent to the division but there is one minor difference so there is one minor difference and the difference is 15 double divide 4 so the resultant of this would be a smallest integer a smallest integer means the actual answer of 15 divided by 4 is 3.75 and the lowest integer of this resultant is either 4 or 
but in this case the smallest uh, resultant would be 3 so this would be the answer for this for example 1 double divide by 2 it would be 0 why 0 if i divide 1 by 2 in this case my answer would be 0 0.5 but in case of floor division it will consider the lowest integer value the lowest integer value is 0 not 1 0 okay so let's take the another example 21 divided by 8 so this will give us almost 2.6 2 2.6 2 something so we'll consider only uh, uh, two decimal places so this will give us almost 2.62 now next is if i consider the double division which is floor division here 21 double divide 8 so now what will be the answer for this it will give you the smallest integer the smallest integer of the resultant is 2 in case of negative number flow division simply it will give us minus 2.62 but in this case as i said before it will give you the smallest integer so the smallest integer for this is minus 2 or minus 3 so smallest integer would be minus 3 because minus 3 is smaller than minus 2 so in this case the answer would come up as minus 3 so in this way we have to use flow division next is power or we can say exponential power is suppose in case of 2 multiply 4 this will give us 8 if i'm going to use here power symbol 4 this means 2 to the power 4 so basically in this case we have to multiply 2 4 times like in this in this form we have to multiply 2 4 times 2 to the 4 4 to the 8 8 to the 16 so this will give us 16 so this is my power operator next is modulus so modulus what it what it do it will give you the remainder uh, for example 15 modulus 4 so we have to divide 15 by 4 and we have to find out the remainder so 4 3s are 12 and the remainder would come up as 3 so 3 would be the answer for this let's take uh, another example for this modulus operator 15 modulus 3 so in this case 3 5s are 15 remainder will come up as 0 so this is my modulus operator which will give you the remainder value next is assignment operator we call this assignment reason is it is assigning the values like we discussed earlier in the uh, uh, variable uh, section like if i'm going to take a equals to 10 we have assigned the value of a as 10 with the help of this equal to operator or the assignment operator so with the help of equals to operator we have we can assign a value to the variable let's take another example ram equals to 4.6 so this is you can see i have assigned 4.6 to, to this variable ram with the help of assignment operator so which is equals to so next is comparison operator so this is comparison operator it will compare the left hand side exact equals to the right hand side so understand this suppose we have a equals to 10 and i'm going to check I'm going to compare with the help of double equals to 8 equals to equals to 11. Now, in Python, operators or conditional operators, they will always give you the answer always in true and false uh, format. It will not give you yes, no. Always it will give you true or false. So, in this case, you can see the value of A is 10. Here, I'm comparing whether my value of a is it equals to equals to 11 so you can see the value of a is 10 we are we are comparing here the value of a which is 10 is it equals to equals to 11 so here you can see it is not so the resultant for this would come up as false
just in this case, if I'm going to write a equals to equals to 10. So you can see the value of a is 10. And here we are comparing whether this value of a is it equals to equals to 10. So here we can see it is. So in this case, it will give you 2. So this is what is comparison operator.